Hello, and this video is designed to remind you of prime numbers, what prime numbers are. So let's begin with the basics. Six cubes can be arranged in a straight line like this. They can also be arranged to form a rectangle in two rows and three columns because two times three is six. Now seven cubes can be arranged in a straight line but they cannot be arranged to form a rectangle because the only multiplication of whole numbers that equals 7 is just 1 times 7. So we say that 6 is a composite number, but 7 is a prime number. So what about 8? Is 8 a prime number or a composite number? Well, we can arrange 8 cubes in a straight line. Can they be arranged into a sort of a more compact rectangular shape? Yes, of course they can. 2 by 4 or, or 4 by 2. And that means that 8 is also a composite number. So a natural number is called a prime number if it is greater than 1 and can be written as the product of two smaller natural numbers. So for example, the factors of 2 are 1 and 2. It's got two factors, so it is a prime number. The number 3 has got two factors, 1 and itself, so it is a prime number. But the number 4 has got three factors, 1, 2 and 4. Those are the three numbers that divide exactly into 4, so it's not a prime number, it's a composite number. 5 has two factors, 1 and 5, so it is a prime number. 6, oh, it's got 1, 2, 3 and 6. It's got four factors, so it's not a prime number, it's a composite number. The number 7, just two factors, 1 and itself. So that's a prime number. And we've seen number 8 has got... Um, four factors, one, two, four, and itself, eight. So that is not a prime number. The number nine, is it prime? No, it's not, because it's got more than two factors. How about ten? No, it's got more than two factors. It's not prime. What about eleven? Yep, the number eleven has got two factors, 1 and itself, so it is a prime number. Right, let's continue with the number 12. 12, oh, many factors. That's not prime. Oh, 13 is. 14's not, 15's not, 16 isn't, but 17 is a prime number. 18 is composite, 19 is prime, 20 is composite, and so is 21. 22 is a composite number, but 23 is prime. 24 has lots of factors. It is a composite number. 25 is composite. 26 is even. We know it's going to be composite. 27 is in the nine times table. 28 is even. 29 is prime. 30 is even, so it can't be a prime number. Oh, 31 is a prime number. So the definition of a prime number is a number that's only divisible by 1 and itself. Or you could say a prime number only has two factors. Both really mean the same thing. Now, the famous way of working out prime numbers is called the sieve of Eratosthenes. And you can actually find that on Transom and work out all the prime numbers up to 100 using that device. So let's see the numbers that are prime up to 1,000. Well, we begin with 2. We know that that is a prime number. We've seen it's the first prime number. It's the only even prime number. And that is followed by 3 as the second prime number. 4 isn't a prime number, but 5 is. So the next prime number is 5. 
And then after 5, 6 is a composite number, so the next prime number is 7. So here you can see the sequence of prime numbers. It goes on and on and on forever. Let's see if you can learn at least the first few, maybe up to 20. Can you learn this sequence of prime numbers? They do, of course, as I've said, go on forever. And here we can see the sequence growing and it's going faster and faster. And eventually we will see all the prime numbers that are less than a thousand. So learn as many of these prime numbers as you can. There are lots of activities on the Transom website. Games, puzzles, lots of different ways of using prime numbers and remembering exactly what they are. You can find Transom Mathematics at www.transom.org where you're welcome to use all of the activities absolutely free. Or jump in with both feet and become a Transom subscriber.